Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman here with Arceus Video Manuals. It's my user run set of videos. So basically we're gonna teach you a little bit about Arceus in general. Everything from Media Master to Grand VJ to Klingnet. And this video is basically going to talk about the setup of Klingnet. If you're not familiar with the Klingnet is, please make sure to watch the other videos as I've talked quite a bit on that already. Now here I have the ADJ Flash Kling Panel 64. Now on the back we see a couple different things. It's very simple. We have power in, power out. On the corners, which you actually you can see here, I'll move this cable out of the way. On the corners we have these little connectors and we have uh, these special little devices here that will basically allow me to connect one to the other. And that's how you see those really cool uh, designs that people do with various um, panels and such. With the ADJ Flash Cling Panel, there's multiple ways of hanging it. You'll actually see here the holes for the uh, clamps. So it, it's limitless as far as how you can use these. But on the bottom part here, this is how you connect them. And that is via Cat5, Cat5e, Cat6 cable. It does not have a preference. But let's go ahead and get this set up on the computer. There is no dongle. It's just basically Cat5 cable from one to the other. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my preferences now. Mac, Windows, whatever you may have. It's obviously a different set of steps. But what you have to do works the same. I'm going to go ahead and shut off my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go to my network preferences. And you'll see the Ethernet is connected, which means it sees, it sees the panels. So you want to make sure you are on manually. Uh, you can do DHCP if you have a router that you, you, know, you can connect these to a router. But if you're going to link them, so I'm going to go from one to the other to the other, you want to do this manually. Now, ClingNet or ArtNet works on 2 dot blah, 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 or 10 dot blah, 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 blah. I have all my Kling stuff always on 10 dot. Your subnet mask should be at 255000. So I have the IP address for my Mac at 10001. And you'll see that it says Ethernet is connected. Now we have multiple softwares that we can use. Uh, there is Media Master and there's also LED Express. I'm going to go ahead and open up LED Express because it's a little bit more affordable than Media Master. It's actually a lot more affordable than Media Master. So if you're not doing video, LED Express is the way to go. It's also a little bit simpler and it gives you some extra features that you can do with it. So I opened up my LED Master and the this is the mapper. Now the mapper is very similar to the CleanNet mapper on Media Master. So if you do Media Master Express or Pro, there's the same type of mapper that we'll use for CleanNet. All these on red are previous panels that it's looking for. You know, it may be, for example, actually this is the one from LDI. So we've got the four panels here. We have some dot solutions. And then we have a CleanNet bar, one of the ultra bars there. But you'll see there's no names. There's no addresses. Obviously, they're not hooked up. When they're hooked up, such as this one here, it'll automatically give it an address. So I don't have to worry about addressing them. If it's in the wrong position, I'll be able to quickly locate that or relocate that. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new project. And we're going to call this test. There we go. And OK. Now it's going to wipe everything out. And there it is right there. So it shows me my panel, has the ID, the size. And I'm going to just drag and drop it. Now, the moment I drag and drop it, this will automatically activate. So here we are. You'll see the elation size 8 by 8. This is basically telling me the number of pixels, right? So again, clean that it's seeing the pixels. So 8 by 8. And the reason it's multicolor right now is just to say, hey, it's connected, but it hasn't been dragged into the mapper. So I'm literally going to take it. I'm going to drag it into the mapper. And there it is right there. Now, if I bring it from blue to green, blue, whatever, there it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and just, we're going to map, we only have one square today, right? Whoops, I actually made this a little bit too small. There we go. So I'm literally just going to take this and I'm going to resize it. And looking at what the camera is seeing, I know that this is upside down because here's the black, black and white one, there's the blue one. So let's find out real quick which way I need to rotate it there. See if I bring this here, like for me, whenever I uh, check to see if I have any size, I actually make it a little bit small, right? And I go like this, and I just do red and green, and then the green should be on the left-hand side. Well, I see that it's not, so I'm just going to rotate it. Or I can just enter it over here, right? So we have our position, X and Y, 
we have our rotation, so we're going to do 180 degrees rotate it. And the visor is if you're going to split it into different type panels. Now, this is really good when you're doing easy cling, and I'll show you guys later easy cling, what it can and cannot do. But this does not get split, so we don't need to use the divisor. We're only running one of them. So now we have this the way it should, so now I'm going to go ahead and size it up. And there it is. I've mapped that square ready to go. Now, I'm going to go to my next tab of LED Master, and it allows me to drag and drop videos, patterns, right? So there's some really crazy patterns. Now, this is going to look terrible because it's only one square, so it's going to be super low resolution. I'm just going to name this sequence one here. We're going to call it, uh, actually, let me see real quick. Where is it? There it is. We're going to call it Fire. Okay. And here we go. There's my little fire sequence. Of course, if I have multiple sequences, I can select it there. But there it is right there. Super easy. Now, if I want to do some sort of really cool effect, I can certainly do that. So again, that's just basically some of the stuff that you can do. I'm going to go ahead and shut the effects off. We can... Adjust it for the BPM if we need it to, or you can do it by speed. You can also have it flash. Again, I'm going to go over the software much later on, but that's basically it. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk about linking up multiple ones of these and mapping them. But if you know how to connect a cable to your computer and run a basic software, you can get into ClingNet right away. Again, my name is Arnaldo Wofferman with RKS Videos, Video Manuals. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.